Mm. You touched on this a little bit earlier on, uh, Mike. Tell us about their relationship with Mary. Oh, wow. The Catholic Mary is another Mary. She is another sinless mediator, as I mentioned to you. In paragraph, let's see, I've got a, a quote here. I'll just give you a contrast between the biblical Mary. We know that Mary was a sinner. In fact, she knew that Jesus was her savior and sinners are the ones who need saviors. But the Catholic Church denies that. They say she was sinless. According to paragraph 494 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, it says, without a single sin to restrain her, she became the cause of salvation for herself and the whole human race. This is an insult to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was the cause of salvation. And yet the Catholic Church points to Mary. That's not all, though. In paragraph 969, it reads as mediatrix. She did not lay aside the saving office, but by her manifold intercession continues to bring us the gifts of eternal salvation. So this is indeed another Mary. The Catholic Church not only has another Jesus, another gospel, they also have another Mary. First Timothy 2.5 tells us God is one and one also is the mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. David, Jesus is the only one qualified as a mediator between sinful man and the holy God. He is God's perfect man and man's perfect God. No one else is qualified. Yeah. And what is the role of a mediator? It's to come between two warring parties. Before we were Christians, our relationship with God the Father was one of hostility and enmity. But through the mediation of our Lord Jesus Christ, he changed that to one of peace and harmony. And he gives us direct access to God. When he gave up his spirit on Calvary's cross, the veil separating the Holy of Holies from sinful man was torn open from top to bottom, showing that now through faith in the shed blood of Jesus, we have direct access to the Father. We don't need any other mediator. Christ alone is our access to the Father. Yeah, yeah. So By true. the way, if I can just interject, Jesus destroyed the sacerdotal priesthood when the veil was ripped open. We don't need priests offering sacrifices for sins any longer. Yeah. And yet the Roman Catholic Church has a sacerdotal priesthood that's offering sacrifices for the propitiation of God's wrath against sinners gathered around the altar. The Roman Catholic priesthood is superfluous, it's unnecessary, and it's ask, actually blasphemy because Christ is the perfect high priest. He did away with the priesthood. Yeah, yeah, 